Hey guys, welcome to Brandon's Lego Guns here. Today I have the Glock 18C. So if you don't know the Glock 18C is, um, the it's pretty much the Glock 18. The Glock 18 is actually based off the Glock 17, but with a fire selector. Or, not with a fire selector, the um, fully automatic. The Glock 18 right here, the Glock 18C, has the fire selector. So, um, yeah, and they're both all... Three of these guns right here I'm talking about um, are chambered in 9mm. And they... Glock 18C has... So, my LEGO Glock 18C has the fire selector right here. So, it's semi-auto right now. Fully auto. Or, um, if you want to, some people like to call it fun mode. So, flip it up. Semi-auto. Um, the Glock 18 actually has a slide right or the hole in the slide right here glock 18 c has it too but it also has one in the back right here kind of um but yeah it's got a working slide and then slide lock and then these holes up here um i put those in the slide i'm not going to change them right now even though i can but this tape right here um actually is holding on the uh, mechanism, the little sliding, the rail on, that it's on. And then there's tape on the grip too because um, you're about to see in a minute why I have it on there. So the magazine release works. Um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't like to fall out, sometimes it does. Sometimes after I push the button and then pull the slide back, it likes to do it. So, um, it also has a working trigger. These pieces right here are actually the buttons for the field stripping. And, um, this gun will field strip. I'll show you, um, near the end of the video. So, so there's the magazine. It's got a little 45 ACP, or 45 bullet, 45, um, something like bullet, I guess, is what it looks like. So, uh, it's, this gun's actually a 9mm, like I told you. Um, so that's the best I could do for to make it look like there's a bullet in the chamber. And yeah, so the magazine release, it slides through there on that cheese slope and then locks into there. And then um, you just push it and it releases it. Um, and it's also got a spring on it too, so you push it, it goes back into place. And so I'm going to show you the chamber. So, uh, crap. So, there is the chamber right there. So, you see my hand right there? So, the chamber leads to the mag well. So, um, the magazine, so here, so, since it's got that little bullet in there, you see that in the chamber. Then there's the rubber band like I was talking about. Release the magazine release, and then you're ready to go. So, I'm crazy about Lego guns and stuff, and like to make them look all crazy, so... Got two of the same magazine. Only thing different is how the bullet shows right here. Um, well that's probably all that's different about both of those. Have two extended 30 round mags right there. And then um, I will show those in the gun in a second. I have a 30 round mag right, or a 50 round mag right here. Um, it's got the spinning thing right here. So after you load the uh, magazine you'd spin this piece right here and then it actually puts pressure on the spring which makes the spring push the bullets up into the end of the magazine right here that pushes them up into the chamber so I also have the 100 round drum mag double dual drum mag I mean um, so it's got tape right here tape right here on the back too because so, because the stud that's holding, the studs that are holding the drums on, didn't want to hold on that well. So, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like for them to be in the gun. So, first I'm going to start off with the small mag that you guys already saw. So, it doesn't really look like too much, just a little piece right there. And then, you guys can see right there, a little bullet in the chamber. So, I'm going to take that out. And then see, it's just longer. And then you can see the bullet in the chamber again. So, um, then you can see the 50 round mag. 
um, actually has. Now yeah, it's pretty big, and then the little bullet in the chamber. So set that down. So hundred round mag. Yeah, I believe I don't even believe that it actually stays. So you go. Glock, Lego Glock 18 with a 100 round drum mag. See the round in there too. And yeah, so that's all the mags I've got for this gun. And I also have a flashlight attachment. So my dad owns a Glock 17. This kind of flashlight attachment right here. Um, I made it out of Legos because I wanted to. It looks really good on this Lego pistol. It's got the little switch that turns it on and off. It doesn't work, but it actually, the flashlight does work. So, a little chain with this little piece. See this little hole, so it goes right into there. Twist it. It actually works. It's not as bright as a normal flashlight, I guess. But it works. And I'll put it on the gun for you guys, too. Just so you guys can see what it looks like. So, here you guys go. So... You guys go. So, I also made a muzzle brake for it right here. It's got some little holes and stuff in it. And, um, I am going to not go put it on the gun right now. So, I'm going to field strip it for you guys. And, oh crap. So, right here, um, you guys can see the Lego gun. So, I, um, you could just pull it off if you want to. You gotta wiggle it around a little bit, so I like to do it like this, um, make it a little more realistic, and then act like you push those down, and then um, I do this, and then you pull it forward, and so this piece back right here actually does not like to come off um, with the rest of the gun right here, so I'm gonna put that on real quick, show you guys what it looks like, and yeah. Hold on. But the field stripping does look all real, all that. So there's the slide. And then there is the rail system. So this piece right here is the rail the rail piece. Then right here is where it like guides on where the thing guides it. So it goes like that. You can see the rubber band back here too. It goes like that. There's a smooth tile in here right here too. That it guides on. This is just the frame right here with the grip. So, yeah, it's got all this. So, I can pull this up like that. And it removes some of the tape too, which I don't really care too much about happening. And then you can just pull the barrel and all that off. So, um, if you guys um, could please like and subscribe to my channel. That would be a big help, um, kind of. And um, if you guys like this video, I, some time in the future, I might end up uh, making a tutorial for this gun. So, bye guys, and I will see you in my next video.